Hello, the network break here. I hope you're doing well. In this lecture, we'll be going over router OS backing up configuration, resetting the device, as well as re-importing the configuration. So let's get into the video. Alrighty, let's look at backing up our configuration. So why do we want to have a configuration backup in the first place? The biggest reason would be in case something happens to our MicroTik device. Maybe there's some type of issue and the device stops working and we need to have a way to quickly restore the configuration to minimize the amount of downtime. Because if I don't keep configuration backups and the router goes down and I need to recreate everything from scratch, that might be an issue because I need to remember everything that I've done, but also it's just time consuming to reconfigure everything from scratch. If you have a backup file, or an export script of the backup configuration, then you can quickly re-add that configuration without much hassle. So that's the first reason why we want to do backups. Now I wanna show you two places that you can do backups. The first is simple. If you go to your file system, there's actually a backup option there. So if you click on backup, this will take a complete configuration backup of the MicroTik. It will even store stuff like MAC addresses and, and whatnot. But on the downside, this type of file is reserved to be either important, imported on the same MicroTik device or on at least the very same model. If you try and do a backup here, if you click on backup and you save that file and you try and import that or restore that on a different model of MicroTik, you're going to have issues. So be aware of that. To do the backup here, it's fairly straightforward. You just click on backup. You can call the backup whatever you want to. I'll call it MicroTik or MicroTik backup. I'll tell it to don't encrypt, but you can encrypt if you want to, but let's do the backup. And then this will now save a file on the file system that's a backup file. I'm quickly going to download this file onto my computer on the desktop, and then I'm going to navigate to this file and open it up with Notepad++. So this type of file is exclusive to just do the backup or restore it. You can't edit anything in here. And if you go through the configuration, you can see some of it makes a little bit of sense. But for the most part, we have no idea what's going on here. This is a bunch of null, 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 null. It's computer language. We don't have any clue that's really going on. So we can't make any changes here. This is just to import it back. So that's one means of obtaining a backup or of your configuration. Now we're going to look at the next way, which is an export script of your configuration. So I'm going to close the file system and I'm just going to jump into the terminal. And then from the terminal, if I type export and I hit enter, this will actually take an export of all of the current configuration on the MicroTik device. And this is essentially the settings that you want to import whenever you're importing stuff. I'm going to just point out, if you do the export, this is just a dump on your screen now. If we want to have this on a file, we actually need to save it as a file. So we can type export and we can type file equals and then you can give the file a name. So let's make this TMB uh, dash backup dash script or maybe the date. So my date today is the 18th of October 2021. Let's save that. And then what I want you to take note of, if I navigate to the file system, I'll have this file, a .rsc, a script file, which I can also download to my computer. So I'll save that on my desktop. And if I open up that file, the rsc file in a text editor, I can actually see all of the configuration. So this is very useful because if you maybe wanna add or change anything in the configuration before you re-import it, you can do it through this RSC file. You can change some stuff here and you can save it. And when you re-import the config onto the MicroTik, it will have those settings. So that is actually extremely useful. So this is how you can back up your configuration. Now let's look at resetting the device. All right, there's mainly two ways that you'll be resetting. There's actually three ways, I, I'd say. Um, but the first and most common way that you might reset the configurations of a router board is by going to system and clicking the reset configuration button. From here, you'll be prompted to specify some stuff. You can tell it you want to keep the user configuration because maybe you've got a few users on the device that you don't want to lose like administrators and you don't want to reconfigure them from scratch. So it will store those user groups and the usernames with their passwords. So you can keep that ticked. And there's also the no default configuration. So if you click on that, 
and the router board boots up, it won't have that default configuration with all of the ports bridged and um, NAT being set up and IP addresses being assigned already. Everything will be like a blank router that you can then configure yourself, which I typically suggest if you are putting this down at different customer sites, if you aren't using it for your home. All right. And once you click on reset configuration, the router board will lose all of its cons configuration. You can do the same commands through the command line by doing system uh, reset configuration. And then you can also tell it stuff like keep users, yes, and um, no defaults, yes. And there's also that run script. So this is, if you wanna run after reset, you can actually select a script file and then run that after the router board resets. So once it boots up, it will then run that script and it will re-import whatever config you want it to, which is pretty cool. So that is how you can reset through Winbox. Now let's look at the manual way of doing it. And sorry, the green screen is maybe fuzzing things out a bit, but there is, um, let me use my other finger. Uh, no, it's, it is the side. There is a little button and it's actually, even though you can't see the word properly, it says RES and that little button, if you take maybe a little pin or a pen or a toothpick or something, you can actually, while the device is powered on, hold the button in and that will factory reset the device as well. So that's definitely a nice physical means of resetting the router OS configuration. You can also use a tool called net install, but we'll cover net install in its own topic. So I'm going to just bring this router back up. So let me just pause the video and then we'll get into re-importing configurations. Alrighty, before we actually import configuration, let's just reset the config by doing a reset configuration. And I'll just do a no default configuration. I'll reset the config and then we're just going to import a script and then run that. All right, so let's just wait for the Microtech to boot back up and then we can start this process. So we're just gonna wait for that double beep quickly. So sorry, but uh, you'll have to wait with me. At least Microtech is fairly quick with its uh, resets and booting up. I really, really appreciate that. All right, the device should be back up. And there you can see no IP address, no identity, but note that it does retain whatever OS version has been loaded on it. So that doesn't revert back to whatever came out of the box. So let me just log in with admin and blank. Your password has expired, please change it. I heard about this with the new version. So let's just uh, add a password. Uh, there was no password. So let me make it one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Change it. All right, so what I'd like to do is, let me just quickly navigate to the file system and let me zoom in here. And what I'd like to do is, I'm going to delete the script file and we're going to upload the script file again. So this is typically if you wanna re-import the config, you can do so by either clicking on the upload button and finding the file, or you can drag and drop the file directly into the file system, which I'll do now. So let me go to tmb-backup. Let's import that. And now the file is here. And then what I can do is run an import command from the terminal window. So I'll go into the terminal and then I will, uh, hang on, let's just put in this password. Let's do a import and it will ask you what's the file name. So I can tell it it's tmb-backup-1810-2021 and then I'll hit the enter and script file loaded and executed successfully. Perfect, that's what we want to see. So now that that's happened, we can actually see that TMB home is back. If I go to my interfaces, well, we didn't name any interfaces, but if I go to my IPs, I can see my IP addressing is back and I should have internet access again. Let's just disconnect from my session and verify on the neighbors if I see that everything's normal. And yes, everything's normal on the neighbors as well. Cool, so that's how we can re-import any configuration. Uh, you can do the same with the, the backup script and it's, it's really the same process. You just go into the file system and you click on this restore button and then this restore will actually prompt you. Actually, you need to just upload the file first and then you can select that file from the file list and then click on restore. And then that will now restore 
the configurations of this marketic, whatever was stored in that backup file. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.